Hi guys, welcome back. So today's practice I'm calling yoga for when you feel like crap. Uh, this is going to be a short and sweet at home restorative yoga practice that you can use your own props, whatever you happen to have lying around the house. I have some pillows for my bed, some throw blankets, um, you can use towels, couch cushions, whatever you have around. And you can practice these things on a mat. I actually have my mat covered with a blanket just to make it a little extra cozy. Uh, you can even practice these on a couch if, you know, maybe you have a cold and you just feel like crap, but you need to move your body, you need to unwind your spine. This is going to be a really great way to do that. So I hope that you enjoy the practice. Namaste. So we're going to begin with a gentle heart opener. So take a blanket or towel and just roll it up into a little burrito for lack of a better word. You can adjust the height and length depending on how you feel. So you'll have to play around with this to see what works for you. Lay it down on your mat. And I'm grabbing a pillow to place underneath my head just because I find it more comfortable. Now before laying down, I'm gonna set up my legs in supported bound angle or supported baddha konasana. So I'm gonna bring the soles of my feet together and just place a couple of pillows underneath my knees. You could do this, you could just straighten your legs out on your mat. You could also do kind of the opposite action, bring the soles of your feet to the outer edges of your mat and letting your knees fall in towards each other. Last step before laying down, I'm going to grab a blanket just to put over myself to be even more cozy and warm. Uh, note the awesome shark blanket. I know you're jealous. <laughs> uh, just kind of tucking that underneath my feet and then laying back so that the rolled blanket is along the spine and obviously the pillow is under the head. A final layer you can add on is an eye pillow over your eyes or you can just use a blanket or scarf to just kind of take down any light or sound around you. Now once you're in this shape make any adjustments you need. Make sure throughout the practice, oh hello Mr. Max, <laughs> make sure throughout this practice that you give yourself permission to be as comfortable as possible. This is not the time to suck it up or tough it out. If you need to move, if you need to adjust, please do so. But having said that, also move with awareness. Be deliberate so that you don't shock anything, move very quickly in or out of anything so that the body has as much of an opportunity to relax as possible. Once you feel settled, let your attention move to the breath. You don't have to fix or change anything about the breath right now. Just start to settle into the rhythm of it. Imagine each exhale just gently letting the body relax even a little bit more. the sounds around you, sensations in the body, and as you observe, as you watch, let any judgments 
fall away, even if it's just for now. Let go of need to label or judge, excluding, of course, anything that doesn't feel right. Continue to give yourself permission to move, to adjust. You might find it interesting to notice if that is a comfortable thing for you to do. Or is there resistance to being comfortable? Is there a little voice that comes in to invalidate when you need to move, when you need to adjust? And just notice that. Take a few more breaths here. Continue to let each exhale relax you even more. Just notice how you feel. Any shifts, any changes, anything that stayed the same. Again, notice without judgment. And then take a deep breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. <sighs> and slowly just begin to wiggle fingers and toes, circle wrists and ankles, move slowly. My teacher would always say, you don't wanna undo what you just undid. Maybe reach your arms up overhead, give yourself a little stretch. And if you're in the Baddha Konasana, gently bring the knees together and maybe give them a little shift, a little rock side to side. Do whatever feels good. And then either with the feet on the floor, you can hug the knees in towards the chest, roll all the way over to one side and just pause for a moment. Again, moving slow, place the top hand on the floor in front of you and use both arms to press yourself up and see if you can let the head be the last thing to lift come to a comfortable seat and just take a moment to notice how you feel and you can circle your shoulders or do any little movements that your body might need after that heart opening hip releasing restorative pose now we'll be coming into a restorative twist it's one of my favorite poses of all time, <laughs> I just love it. So first we wanna get our little blanket burrito out of the way. And I like to have a little lift towards my head. So I'm placing a throw pillow at the top end of two stacked pillows. So I have a body pillow and then my head pillow. And I'm really excited <laughs> about this pose. 
So I'm starting on my right side and you can just bring your right hip up to the pillows and the right hand supports you behind. Again, I'm gonna set up my blanket, although if you have somebody who can help you with this, that's even better. Now to warm up the spine, we're gonna do some kind of prep twists. So inhale and reach your left arm out and back behind you. As you exhale, bring it around into a twist. Nice, inhale, reach back behind you, open up the chest and exhale around into a twist. This last time, inhale, reach back. And as you exhale, bring the left hand to the other side of the pillows. Inhale to lengthen up through the chest Exhale, melt down onto the pillows, turning the head in the same direction as the knees. Just as we did in the first pose, take as long as you need to get comfortable, make any adjustments. And in this particular pose, I like to lift my arms up for a moment. It's amazing how much they wanna do the work here. <laughs> so just make sure that the body is relaxing down onto the pillows. The arms don't need to work here. You can always adjust how much or how little support you have underneath the chest. If you get into this pose and you're not saying, ah, then I'll bet you there's something that you can adjust so that you can be more comfortable. And again, once you're settled, let your attention land on your breath. Notice if the breath feels different in this pose. The mix of the twist and lying kind of chest, belly down might have quite a significant impact on how the breath feels in your body. So just notice that. to do here is imagine the breath moving up and down the spine almost kind of swirling around really close in almost like a whirlpool inhale rising from the tailbone up to the crown of the head exhale moving back down and then as I get cozy as I settle imagine that whirlpool starting to widen until eventually it's like my whole body is kind of being rinsed, being washed by the breath. So that's an exploration that you can play with here if you like. As in the previous pose, give yourself permission to slowly and gently make any adjustments you might need.
couple more breaths here. Notice if anything, again, has changed or shifted in your experience from the beginning of this pose. You may like to, again, take a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth. gentle movements. Again, don't want to undo what we just undid. And then slide your hands under your shoulders. Now the arms can do the work. Use them to press yourself up. Let the head be the last thing to lift. Just unwind gently to a comfortable seat. You can roll the shoulders, maybe sigh it out again. And then I like to turn back facing the pillows, place the hands behind you, and just rock the knees gently side to side. This will be a nice release for your hips and, I don't know, just feel good. <laughs> now setting up for the second side, you may like to fluff up or flip around your pillows that you're laying on. Adjust your blanket, get comfortable. And now place the left hand to the outside of your stack of pillows or blankets. Inhale and extend the right arm back behind you and exhale around into our gentle warm up twist. Inhale, reaching back and exhale around. One more time, inhale, reach back, exhale, reach around, place the right hand on the floor Inhale to lengthen through your spine and exhale to melt down, head facing the same direction as the knees. Just as we did on the first side, take as long as you need here to get cozy, to get settled. There are no shoulds or supposed tos outside of being as comfortable as humanly possible. Again, once you feel settled, once you feel cozy, bring your attention right on back to the breath. You may like to play with that little whirlpool visualization up and down the spine, slowly moving that whirlpool wider and wider through the body, through the torso. May like to keep the breath relaxed. Totally up to you. But anytime you notice the mind wander, just gently guide the attention back to the breath, to the experience, to whatever is around you.
the mind has wandered, guided back. Let it be here for a little while longer. Notice if any places have gone into habitual tension or if anything needs to be adjusted so that it can be even more comfortable. or constraint in the breath. Notice how you feel in the body. If anything has changed or shifted. And if this side, this twist feels different than the first one. Or not. And again, slowly wiggle fingers and toes. Circle wrists and ankles. And then slide the hands under the shoulders. Use your arms to press yourself up. Maybe let the head be the last thing to lift. And unwind. Back to center. Place the hands behind you. And once again, give the knees a gentle rock side to side. Make your way to a comfortable seat just for a moment. Give the shoulders a roll, sigh it out, and come to stillness and just notice how you feel after those twists. Any effects on body, mind, breath. And then let the eyes open and we will transition into our last pose. We're gonna move into a side lying pose. So you're going to want first some support that's going to go in between the knees and ankles. So the legs are gonna be bent and I'm using a body pillow here. You can use anything you like. I'm actually gonna grab another blanket just to add a little extra support and you're gonna to have to play around with this experiment to see what feels really supportive and really helpful for you. Once you have that figured out, again, I'm gonna get my blanket all ready. <laughs> and from here, you want a stack of pillows or blankets in front of you and also some support for your head. So I'm using the throw pillow from before and I'm gonna stack another blanket on top just for a little extra coziness. So you can see you can really go uh, all out with the props in this pose, although you don't necessarily need to. Well, I have chosen to do this pose on my right side. Just so you know, you can do the same pose laying on your left side after you've eaten, and that can be really helpful for your digestive health. But either way, settling in, making any adjustments you need to, and once you're comfortable, bring your attention to your breath. At this point, there is no need to focus on the sound of my voice. But especially in this final pose, I'd like to offer you a breathing practice just to help bring that relaxation to an even deeper level. So let the breath be in a natural, even rhythm, no effort. 
but imagine that you are holding a straw in your mouth. You're gonna inhale through the nose. And then as you exhale, you're gonna breathe out of the mouth through that straw. So this is a very soft breath. You can even imagine there's a little feather at the end of that straw that you don't want to disturb. So this isn't a deep sigh out of the mouth. It's a relaxed inhale and then a slow, quiet exhale out through the mouth. Like I've said earlier in the practice, that exhale to just be such a beautiful, relaxing release. <laughs> and I personally find it really helpful, that kind of straw breath, to not only let the body relax more, but allow the mind to relax and stay focused. course you are welcome to stay here for as long as you like. This is certainly one of those postures that you can practice for an extended period of time. But if you are ready to release, you can keep the eyes closed if that's comfortable and just again start to wiggle fingers and toes. Move the face around. Maybe again, take a deep breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. <sighs> Leave any tension, stress, or junk on the floor. And then place the top hand on the cuddle buddy, or you can move it out of the way. Use your arms to press yourself up and gently unwind back to a comfortable seat. Once you are upright, like we've done throughout the practice, any little wiggles, movements, stretches you need, do that. Roll the head, roll the shoulders. And then come to stillness and bring the palms together in front of the heart. Notice how you feel. This is such, in my opinion, an important and sacred practice. So just notice how you feel, if it's any different than how you felt when we first began. And thank and honor yourself for taking this time. Bring the hands to the forehead. You can bow in gratitude to yourself. Namaste.